Oh, you didn't want to get anybody into any trouble. <laughs> oh, good morning, Hazel. Oh, good morning, Miss Noll. Look at this. Where'd you get that? In, in the trash can. Really? It's practically brand new. Well, it's it's very beautiful, isn't it? Oh, sure. It's real amour to your amour stuff. You didn't want to throw it out, did you? You know, sometimes these things get mixed in with the trash. Hmm. <laughs> well, I sort of had a hunch and Mr. Noel made a mistake. <laughs> hmm. Hazel? I have a hunch your hunch was right. <laughs> well, I gotta go find Harold. <laughs> Oh, Harry, George will be down in a minute. He's getting dressed. <laughs> Is this what you're looking for? <laughs> well, everything's hunky-dory next door. I tell you, it's a wonderful feeling helping a couple like that start off their marriage on the right foot. <laughs> <laughs> That negligee was practically new. I mean, Mr. Noel must have picked it up with some other stuff and dumped it in the trash can. For heaven's sakes. Well, boy, he ain't much of a lawyer if he ain't more wide awake than that. Boy, that must have cost 30 or 40 bucks if it cost a dime, that negligee. Oh, if George ever did a thing like that to me, he would never hear the end of it. Well, fortunately, I was on my toes. And I guess after this, Mr. Noel's gonna be, too. <laughs> Did Rita get mad at Harry for doing such a thing? No, she had the sweetest smile when I told her, not a cross word. I tell you, my spirit's hanging over that house like a guardian angel. <laughs> Where's George? Harry, what? Where's George? Well, well, he's gone to the office. I have to talk to him. Well, I don't think he's there yet, Harry. Well, how soon will he be there? Well, it depends on whether or not he stops somewhere on the way. Mr. Noel, I'm fixing some chicken noodle soup for you and Mrs. Noel for lunch. It'll be ready just as soon as the water boils. Oh, good. That's just what I need, some more hot water. <laughs> Hazel thought she'd cook it here and then bring it over. She wasn't sure whether your gas was on. Take my word for it. The gas is on. <laughs> What's the matter? You're not your usual cheery self. That negligee she gave my wife belongs to my secretary. <laughs> your secretary? What was it doing in the trash can? That's what I've been trying to explain to my wife for the last half hour. Oh, Mr. Baxter? Yes, Susan? Thank goodness you're here. Why? What's the trouble? Judge Cafford called about ten minutes ago and wanted to speak to Mr. Noel. But I can't reach him. His telephone hasn't been installed. Well, what was it about? Do you know? He wants to examine the pretrial testimony of the Wilson versus Hamilton case. He needs it right away. Oh. Well, technically, Mr. Noel is still on his honeymoon, so I'll handle it. Bring the testimony in here, I'll check and see that Judge Cafferty gets it right away. Well, that's the trouble. What do you mean? We don't have a copy of the testimony in our files. Well, where is it? It's at Mr. Noel's home. A at his home? Well, I just came into the office. Now, don't tell me I have to go all the way home again. Well, I can go get it for you. No, 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 there isn't time for that. I have to check it first, and if Judge Cafferty has to read it... Well, I can go with you, and when you finish, I'll take it to him. It's a good idea. Come with me. Thank you. Besides, I'm curious as to what his new wife looks like. Well, if anyone else is curious about meeting the newlyweds, just tell them to drop around my house any time, night or day. They're always there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did Mr. Baxter say where he was going? I see. All right, thank you. He came in the office and went right out again. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Noel. When I found the negligee, I didn't have the slightest idea. So you're not the one that needs the idea. I'm the one that needs an idea. 